Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Biscuit. Hopefully everybody's having a good day wherever you are. So today's video is going to be a swatching of a, um, a bunch of acrylics that I got from Dynamic Nail Supply. So we're going to go ahead and swatch these babies. And I'm going to tell you about the consistency, see how well I like them and whatnot. So I have to confess that I have been swatching a little bit off camera. So I have one, two, three, five left for us to swatch. And then I'll also show you the ones that I have already swatched with. So this first one is called Blushing. And also today we are going to be using my number 20 Kalinsky. Um, actually, this brush I got from AliExpress. And the reason that I bought this brush is because it kind of was very similar to my panel brush that I bought for $30 off of Amazon. So $10 for this brush and $30 for this brush. So we're also going to do a... Um, review of this brush to see how I like it um, things like that so this is supposed to be a Kalinsky sable brush so that means that this brush is not 100% pure Kalinsky um, it has some sable hairs in it as well but um, we will go ahead and try that out so I'm going to use my swatch sticks today which are my coffin swatch sticks okay we're going to switch it up a little bit so let's go ahead and let's take a look at this pickup from the powders with the brush. Like it, like it. Okay, looks good. And let's go ahead and get it down in our swatch sticks. We want to try to minimize the air bubbles. So this brush picks up really good, that's for sure. Ignore my hands, you guys, and my fingers. And I just dab inside and bring up, so I still have a lot of liquid in my brush. Because I want to be able to pick up a nice bead. Alright. Wait a few moments. Then we'll put it on the swatch stick. And we will pat it down. Make sure we try not to get any bubbles in there, which we didn't. Again, this brush is um, it's working perfectly. I have no complaints about this brush. For it to be kind of like a dupe or resemble the Pana brush, you know, and it's definitely good for uh, practice for sure. Again, I'm surprised this brush picked up very well. I have no complaints right now, so I'm just going to keep using this brush, and uh, we're going to go from there. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and go through these, and then I'll come back towards the end where I did the first five off camera, so that way we can talk about it, and I'll give you my honest opinion.